Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, as you see what's going on on our lovely island of Pornado today in a late night episode. As per usual, I feel like that's kind of a norm nowadays. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about today in particular. <laughs> so, so just continuing with birthday conversations, despite the fact it's, again, not my birthday. Um, well, not anymore. It's been three days now. Um, I will say I've almost recorded everything I needed to. I, I have two more Animal Crossing videos to record. I have one more un uh, real bound video to record, and then that's it. And I'm, I'm I'm good. I've I've got enough of a backlog to get me through the holiday, which is crazy because I did so much recording in these like past four days. Um, but anyway, good evening, everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 11:31 p.m. on Tuesday, September 5th, 2023. So I might record some more. Um, Happy in Paradise today, or um, maybe at least one. One, I don't know. We'll see. I might do two. I'm going to be honest. The Happy in Paradise uh, episodes and the later ones are probably not going to be all that great because <laughs> I'm just like not speaking in them, not all that much. Like I, I can't keep a coherent thought going, and it's not because I'm all that tired. I suppose it's just like I, I feel like my commentary skills drop off dramatically past like 11 p.m., which is why I normally don't record past 11 p.m. If I do, it's a random Animal Crossing episode like this one when I was busy most of the rest of the day. Um, so yeah, it's not. It's generally not my not my intention um, to. So you know, I apologise for those ones being <laughs> lack of commentary. I think it's also compounded by the fact that again, it's quite difficult to commentate over Happy in Paradise at the same time because I'm like actively trying to do something, like actually actively trying to put thought in. But you know, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> A customization, uh, you might be like, what are the customizations like? Uh, I don't even remember. What, what ones did I do? Okay, but, but, but the last one I did yesterday was uh, genuinely, I think, pretty bad. But, you know, still there anyway. The other two, I think, were okay. <laughs> They're not, not too bad. A tunic. Recorded some tunic today. That was pretty good. I think that takes me up to what I need. Takes me up to... So that's ninth. Sixteenth. Perfect. And then... Wait, what? 9th, 16th, yes, and I'm back on 15th, and Beacon Pines is up to 14th, so I don't need to record to 18th, and Real Bound is up to 12th, so I just need to record one, which is a it's fine. I can record one Real Bound episode tomorrow, um, or one Animal Crossing episode, or maybe more, depending how things go, but ba probably what's going to happen is tomorrow I'm, I'm just going to be packing my bags. <laughs> it's gone hard, I haven't, I haven't even packed yet. I've, I've thought internally about what I want and again I'm not going away for like a huge amount of time it's about a week or so so it's not like I need a huge amount of stuff um but I do have a luggage allowance I, I do have a checked in bag so I'm like okay well I might as well just bring a load of stuff I guess <laughs> probably the wrong attitude stake but still why not I say um but yeah so I've got a few days I've got today day after um, day after <laughs> today, tomorrow, and the day after. I don't know, I'm not speaking like a human, but anyway, we're not going to talk about that yet. Um, I suppose that'll probably be something I talk about tomorrow. And then from the day afterwards, we'll have pre recorded episodes, I believe, um, if all went according to plan, right? Let's see, that one, eighth, yes, okay, so. Um, because I won't be able to record on a Thursday evening. But yeah, um, what was I going to say? I don't really know what I was going to say, to be honest. I'm a little bit tired. I'm not like exhausted or anything, um, because I, I do genuinely sleep quite late. As you know, I, I feel like Pokemon Sleep has very much enlightened me about is the fact that uh, I don't sleep that much. Like I knew I didn't sleep as much as the average person in the first place, but I thought I slept around six hours or something. I, and I sometimes average around four hours. <laughs> like, but we can actually use Pokemon Sleep for. For some reason, I slept up for four hours, like on average, which is crazy. Anyway, I stopped using Pokemon Sleep. But I have spoken to my friends actually about um, getting. Because one of my friends, okay, it's is, uh, is basically another one of my friends, she had like a spare Fitbit sort of watch thing. I, d I don't know, maybe like an old generation one or something. I don't know where she got it from, but then she gave it to another one of my friends who gave it to his mum, but then his mum doesn't want it um, or something. So, you know, um, it's like maybe I can have it or something like that. Which I'll need to remind him about, I suppose, when I see him again. Um, when I see you again. Um, so I might start tracking my sleep with that. And maybe more like exercise about. I feel like tracking it, you know, I, I know how it works. Giving it a quantifiable amount where I can visibly see how much or how little I'm doing will probably be a good um, 
motivated for me to be like okay i need to actually start doing like some more exercise or something because this is silly i shouldn't be like so inactive the entire day <laughs> but if, you know it, it's sort of like an ignorance is bliss sort of thing where if i if i remain ignorant to it, i don't improve from it <laughs> anyway i'm not going to talk about that's not what i'm going to talk about today you know what i can can talk about today this is like nasty blister i've gotten oh you are ill unfortunately we can't get you medicine um because no, the cranny is closed, but uh, this crazy blister I got on the back of my foot. I don't know if it's what it looks like now because I put a plaster on it. But basically, I was wearing some dolly shoes uh, on my birthday, and then we were doing a lot of walking, like more than I expected. Like I wore those shoes because I was like, we're probably not going to be doing a huge amount of walking. Like we'll be walking to Russian, of course, but you know, Russian. And I checked on. Um, I checked on the map and I was like, it's really close to a train station, which we'll, we'll be going to, so that's completely fine. And then I was like, okay, then we'll be taking the train to a museum. And, you know, the museum, again, is also quite close to a train station. Um, but uh, the museum itself is, you know, probably will be the majority of a walking, but, you know, you can sit down, I suppose. Um, so it's not too bad. But at some point, was it from the museum to the theatre we just walked which was like a half an hour walk which was a terrible walk to do in the shoes i was wearing um because the dolly shoes i have are slightly too small for me because i mean you don't i think i spoke about this before i have very very wide feet annoyingly wide i would say and you know i mean as far as like the body lottery goes i don't i don't think i did too bad i think i you know it could always certainly be a lot a lot worse but wide feet makes it a real pain buying shoes because my feet don't fit into a lot of shoes like my, my feet length wise is about six and a half ish or something but my feet width wise is like h <laughs> like probably like extra extra wide essentially which makes it an absolute nuisance to buy shoes um so the dolly, do, are they even called dolly shoes am i making this up like the slip-ons i feel like we've got yeah they have got dolly shoes or flat shoes okay whatever I bought them and they fit lengthwise, but widthwise they're just like not they're not quite right. And for some reason, the, the way they're, they're built, they've got like a, a little sh like sharp not sharp thing at the end, but it turns out they dig into my ankles, which I didn't know because I hadn't actually worn them for an extended or period time or period of time before. Mainly because I'm like um, most of the times I, I end up wearing like I've, I have two boots. I wear. I've, I've got a pair of Chelsea boots and I got a pair of like um thigh length boots I, I don't know what you'd call them. knee high boots that's probably what you'd call them um those are the ones i wear the most often because they're the most comfortable they're the most the good combination of comfortable and practical um i do need to get myself more shoes and i have got myself some summer shoes but i do need to get like expand my sh shoe wardrobe but it, it's difficult again because i have very wide feet like my, my feet are just like stop being so wide it'd be so much easier just to buy shoes like, I don't actually have a problem with wide feet, but, you know, they need to make as many wide shoes as there are wide feet that I have, which is two, I guess. <laughs> that, was, that was not a good sentence, but still. Um, so I ended up digging into, like, my ankle a lot. So very much so that by the end of the night, I was, like, walking with my ankles outside my shoe. Uh, it was actually more comfortable to pretend that these were, like, low heels or something, rather than walk with them as usual. Um, so... What it ended up happening is, on my left foot is completely fine, you know, it definitely was sort of like where the, the back heel part, I suppose, was pressing into my ankle. Um, and it's sore near, like, the ball of my feet, I suppose, near the top, where it got a little bit squished because of the doll-shaped shoe. But then it made a crazy nasty blister on the back of my right ankle, which I'd, I'd, I'd probably put a plaster on. Um, well, washed it out, put a plaster on, and then that, that plaster fell off, so, you know, I washed it out and put another plaster on again, and that was a couple of days ago, so I guess I do need to change this plaster again at some point, but, um, this is wild, you know? <laughs> and the thing, the thing is, like, I can definitely see it's been bleeding, because I can see the blood sort of starting to come through the plaster, so I probably should change it again. I don't know if I have a plaster near me, that's a problem. You know, I have a plaster in my purse. I always keep multiple plasters with me on my purse, just in case. You would not believe how handy it is to have plasters up ready, because how often you you might find your friends accidentally like injure themselves. Not intentionally, of course, but they, you know, just sort of hanging about and then, uh oh, you got a cut from somewhere. Um, what are you gonna do? Well, bada bing, bada boom, I've got a plaster on me, so I should probably change this plaster. 
which is you might be like this kind of gross to do on animal crossing camera and you're right probably but when has that ever stopped me now this plaster is on tight wow this one is like super stuck on here it's like a super adhesive i don't know if it's a good thing to take it off because it might be painful taking off the actual blister part but it does look like a plaster needs changing so wow that is like a pretty nasty blister I'm not going to go into more detail about that. It's just sort of... Wow. I should probably wash that then. Um, hold on. I think I'm going to pause the video a little bit and I'll come back. Alright, I'm back. You know. <laughs> um, it doesn't look too bad. It, it, it is very much... Well, okay. I mean, it's, it's not a great blister, mind you. But <laughs> it reminds me actually back in the day when I used to do a lot more wearing. I used to get blisters like crazy all over my hands because of obviously from friction. Um, I mean, that's one of the reasons I also stopped rowing. I mean, there's a lot of reasons I stopped rowing, I suppose. But uh, one of the things was just like constantly having like these incredibly calloused hands due to blisters. It was like, it's not, it's not really what I want, I suppose, from a sport to provide me, you know. Sure, sure, you know, no pain, no gain. But I'd, I'd rather it be a bit more controlled pain rather than, you know, now, you know, I've got all these blisters on my hand and now I can't like pick up a pen properly without it feeling rather uncomfortable. Um, but if you don't know, it's because um, when you do rowing, it's like but you have to like spin, the, not spin, but like twist the oar um, in your hand. What, what fish is that? Dace. Dace not too bad to catch, but we're not going to do that. Um, and that friction, I suppose, of doing it over and over and over and over again, especially with the fact that there's water, I suppose, quite frequently around the place, which means that you will get like friction burns, I suppose. Um, so yeah, anyway, so the long and short way is I've got a blister now on my foot, which I will obviously change the plaster on every day or two. I, d I don't really know what the standard is. I'm not, again, a medic. Um, but it seems reasonable, you know. <laughs> like, you know, change your plaster, wash it out, and then cover it up again. I remember when I was younger, it used to be a very common thing for, um, like, you know, like Dylan ladies or teachers or... Like, I'm not sure if a school nurse necessarily ever said it, but it's like, oh, you need to let um, your cuts air out by, like, exposing them to the air, you know, that's why you don't keep a plaster on all the time. I'm pretty sure that is, by the way, nonsense. In in a, in a loving way, not in an aggressive way. Um, because I'm pretty sure that it's like, it just dries out the cut, which is not beneficial for healing or something, right? I'm not really an expert again, I'm not a medic, so I, I would recommend you just Google it or ask a first aid person, but um, I mean, there's a reason that like gauzes and bandages and plasters are so recommended is because the risk of infection, I suppose, by having an open wound is significantly higher. Even if it was beneficial, I suppose, to air it out, I feel like the risk of, the risk of infection of an open wound is significantly more problematic, I suppose, than the rate at which it like scabs over or something. So um, anyway, yeah. Um, hopefully this blister will heal up reasonably. I, I, I mean, I think it'll probably take about a week, so it'll probably be around the end of a holiday where uh, it will properly heal. And it won't be too bad, <laughs> because I suppose when I go on holiday, I'll actually bring more walkable shoes, you know. I'll bring my boots, which I normally walk in. I'll, I'll probably bring some trainers, because I, I know we're going on a long walk at some point. I don't know where my trainers are, though, so I'll definitely have to find them. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll basically bring along... A lot more shoes, which are a lot more walkable. <laughs> what, what I need to do is I need to keep, like, low-profile shoes in my bag at some point. When, the ones which are super comfortable. So at any point where I'm just, like, I'm wearing my shoes, I'm like, mm, it's too uncomfortable. Don't want to wear, wear them like this anymore. Just, like, change out my shoes. <laughs> or just a walk barefoot, I suppose. You know what I should get? I saw a friend had these way back in primary school when we were staying at, like, this... I guess I would call it like a summer camp. It's not really a summer camp, but it's kind of like the equivalent of a school trip summer camp. Um, she had like these socks which doubled as like slipper shoes because they were like padded on the bottom or something. I should get one of those. Slipper socks and just keep those like in my bag or something. Low battery. Um, drink up, I'll do just that. Yeah. Because those are probably super comfortable. And you can just walk around with those. And those are very, those are very low-key. So at any point you're just like, oh, you know. Got to change out my shoes for something. 
Just, just whack on those bad boys. Keep them very easy in your back. That's, that's genius. <laughs> I think I'll keep being like doll shoes, I suppose, in my bag. The problem is the doll shoes are not very comfortable for me. Boot, boots tend to be the most comfortable for me. Well, I guess like form-fitting trainers are probably the most, most comfortable. But boots tend to be the sort of like second most comfortable thing. Which is a bit difficult because boots are very bulky. And don't really fit in your bag. Anyway, long and short of it then. Um, I have a blister on my ankle. I don't get blisters all that often, to be fair. I feel like most of the time I'm quite aware about these sort of things, you know. If, it, if I get a blister, if something is highly uncomfortable, I don't continuously do it over and over again. I don't know why I, I did this time. I, I was thinking, of, you know, it was probably because at the moment I was thinking, I was like, I should just take my shoes off and I should just walk barefoot or something. Or I should just tell my friends, hey, you know, can we take a train? This is actually, like, really painful on my ankles. Or I should have done the, the, the heel walking as of high heels much earlier. You know what I really do think exacerbated the problem with though? Is the fact I was wearing tights. And the tights can some sometimes be a lot more abrasive than like wooden socks can be, so it was definitely not the smoothest move I could have done. That's right. It should be fine. The only thing I think this will prevent me from doing is very often going into the water, I suppose, salty sea water. Oh. What? Are you about to go to sleep? Is this why you're like this? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I didn't know you would have pyjamas. What happens if I just stay here past midnight? I'm not going to do that. But I assume your, your bedtime's at midnight, which is why you're dressed up in pyjamas. That's pretty cool. I, I, I mean, maybe I did know that, but I just kind of forgot, but hey. But yeah, you used to get blisters a lot from doing a lot of rowing, which I was not fond of. I don't like having blisters on my hands. And to be think, now I think about it, I never like really did anything to like look after them properly. Which seems like a terrible idea. I just sort of like, um, just let them be and I guess they sort of calloused over. It felt terrible. My hands are dry enough already. Now, nowadays there's not even a remnant of them remaining, but I don't know, having blisters on your hands is not fun. <laughs> so the sort of thing where I was like, I kind of, maybe you should use gloves while wearing, but then it's like you don't get for friction or something while wearing gloves. It's, it's, it's a lot harder to wear because you, it's, it's, you have like a disconnect between you and your, you have like a piece of cloth in the way and thus it sort of like becomes more difficult to twist. I don't know. Anyway, very not for me because of that. And hopefully this blister heals up kind of soon. But for now, I'm going to round this episode up here. So if you haven't watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares. Greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope we see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>